I guess all in all, it wasn't too bad. Of course, all of this up here looks pretty good. But as you get back here, we've got some pretty serious rust going on. It looks like obviously at some point this thing has been apart. The thing to remember here is my dad's owned this car since like 1980, uh, somewhere around that era. So it must have been back in the late 70s or something. Somebody popped this thing out, popped this back glass out and did something back here. So if you guys don't know, I mean, these cars were notorious for rust and even kind of early on. So there very well could have been a little bit of rust back here from years ago. We have this whole package tray, this whole back bracket back here that you see. We have a new one, but hmm, I'm not so sure that we want to put that in first. I think I may need to go ahead and fix this before we get started on that. And let me show you why. As you can see, this thing wraps around and basically attaches to the bottom side of this. So what I'm afraid of is if we come in and we take this rear seat bracket out right here, this brace out and drill all the spot welds and all that out, then we're gonna lose basically some rigidity and the shape of all this. So I think the first thing we need to do is go ahead and uh, build these new pieces right here. This will be my first major fabrication job so far on the channel. And I figured I would come out here and show you guys kind of how I'm doing it. This is trial and error. I'm probably gonna mess this up, but it's all right. You know what, we all learn from my mistakes. But first off, huge shout out to whoever it was that mentioned uh, Fitzy's Fabrication. So whoever that was, man, I really do appreciate that. Seriously, I checked the channel out, and as you can see, that's the method I'm using. So this is the, the two pieces that I have so far. As you can see right here, these two pieces are gonna fit pretty good in here together. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm basically just making a mold, if you will, of what we already have here. So all of this is, is rusted out. Basically, I just took a piece of metal and trimmed out until it fits up into this pinch weld pretty good. Uh, has There you go. Wherever the spot is, there's like one, one perfect spot that this will go. Anyway, that's gonna be the base. So that's gonna be this lip right here. After everything's said and done, I'll come in and trim this down to match that bottom lip there. And then this piece, I just bent it and cut it and shaped it. And as you can see, this thing is not straight. It's got a crown, it, it bows, it bends around. Um, this is not, there again, I'm, I'm quoting a lot of what Fitzy says on his channel, but there again, none of this stuff is 90 degrees and none of this is just a, a smooth arc. It's all got crowns and bends and shapes that you can't really see until you start working on it. But anyway, that's what this piece is. So the plan is to come in and tack weld these two together and then have a shape that I can pull off the car. And then we're gonna grind it down to where it meets the top right here of the body. And then we're gonna cut this off to where it meets. And then we're gonna come in possibly with a very small piece around this top edge. Anyway, I'll come back out here in a few minutes, show you guys what we got. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just come in and tack weld this piece to that piece. That way we can pull it off the car we can shape it, manipulate it, do whatever we need to do at that point. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'll try my best to zoom in so you guys can see what's going on. But basically what I'm gonna be doing is pushing this in, forming it to the back of this rail right here. So I'm gonna push it in real tight, weld it up. The bottom is clamped down pretty tight. So hopefully this will work. This will be my first time really ever trying this. So we will see. But what this should do is give us the shape of the car. All right, so everything looks pretty good. We've got our body line pretty much matched up. And down here, everything looks good. So we'll obviously have to come in and weld this and then grind it all down. It'll have to be welded from the backside as well and then ground down uh, so we've got a good solid foundation. But this really should be it. Uh, this will be our base up here. So what we'll do now is go ahead, pull this thing out a couple times, make sure it fits good. And then uh, what we'll do from there is go ahead and stitch weld everything in. And then we'll come back and grind this off a little bit later. Basically, this is trial and error on this. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. Uh, if this works out, then I'll show you on that side exactly how I went about doing everything. Taking the measurements, marking it all out, and cutting it. All right, so I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to look at it, make sure we're good, and I'll get back to you guys. All we're going to do now is come in, and we're going to start putting some tack welds 
around this. And that's just to hold this thing in place so that as we cut, we can kind of cut and butt per se. Um, I think this is gonna work out pretty good. I really should have come on out with a little bit of a lip right here, but uh, I think it's gonna be fine. So, hey, we can always come back and add more if we need to, but for right now, I think this will cover up and handle pretty much all of our issues that we've got. Basically, we're gonna cut out all of this metal right here, all right? The shape of this is what's gonna be cut out. So I'm a little nervous, but I got faith in myself and I think I can do this. Now is your last time to get your final shape. So if you need to do some shaping, now's the time to do it. It's your last chance. Okay, that's it. She's tack welded into place. Now, all I gotta do is come in and cut this out. So, cross your fingers, guys. Here goes nothing. What I'm doing here is going around with my grinder on the piece that we made, and I'm just cutting around the edges of it, cutting through my old spot welds so that we can push this thing down flush and then put our new spot welds on. As you can see, I'm just applying a series of spot welds around where we drop this thing down flush so that we can then later come in and grind it down smooth. And finally, I'm just taking the grinder and smoothing everything out. Once this is all said and done, we should have a nice flush piece. There's definitely going to be a little bit of filler involved in this, but guys, overall, I'm pretty happy with that considering that's my first time. We literally cut this thing out, dropped it in, and welded it. And overall, I really couldn't be any happier with it. Um, like I said, I've got to go in and really kind of finish touching up this, throw some more welds in here. So what do you guys think? Think this is something you could do too? Never thought that I would be able to pull this off, but hey, we did it. You know what? And to be completely honest with you, this right here is fine. It beats all that rust that we had up in there, right? So that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I hope this inspires somebody to get out there and try something like this. You'd be surprised at what you can do. And I mean that. Sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of faith in yourself and stuff will just work out. I'm glad that's off my chest. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching.